Extensive tutorial videos in the help file show you the detailed actions you must specifically carry out in the basic workflow. However, in this animation, we will explain the five steps using a simplified plant structure. The entire plant structure is divided into the four partial plants, north, west, east, and south. When you consider the partial plant north, you will find the three stations A, B, and C in it. Each station can have several automation units. For station B, these are the automation units AU1 and AU2. Both automation units together cover the functional scope required for station B. Via the inputs and outputs of the automation units, the functions can receive and transmit signals, for example measured values, indications, or commands. In the first step of the basic workflow, you define the plant structure shown with hierarchically arranged levels. In OPM2, you create levels for the partial plant, the station, the functions, and the inputs and outputs with the relevant signals. In the everyday language of CCAM Toolbox 2, you create the process technique with this. The process technique is the presentation of the entire plant and signal structure. When you insert signals, you use the so-called types for this. A type is a multiple-use object with uniquely defined properties. Examples of signal types are indications, commands, or measured values. As soon as you insert such a signal type in the level hierarchy, it becomes an image. An image is the instance of a type and always has the same properties as its type. An image is therefore not a simple copy, but is always linked to its type. If you change the properties of a type at a later point in time, this has a direct effect on all images of this type. The properties of a type still don't have any defined values. For that reason, we recommend that you build up the signal structure with default values rather than with types. A default value is a type pre-assigned with defined values. Therefore, when you insert the default value of a signal in the level hierarchy, the resulting image already has the defined values. You can find detailed information about the process technique in the help file via the displayed path. When you define the process technique, you only consider the plant structure and the signals to inputs and outputs. In the second step of the basic workflow, you then define which automation units are to be used specifically. In the everyday language of CCAM Toolbox 2, you create the system technique with this. The system technique is the sum of all automation units used in a plant structure. First, you insert an automation unit in your project. You equip this automation unit with a processor module, with I.O. modules, and with communication modules. After that, you parameterize the completely equipped automation unit. Typical parameters are baud rate, IP address, or security. You can find detailed information about system technique in the help file via the displayed path. When you have defined the system technique, you have to link it with the process technique. You do this in the third step. In the everyday language of CCAM Toolbox 2, this operation is called assignment. Assignment is creating the link between a signal from the process technique and a destination in the system technique. Destinations are, for example, the inputs and outputs of the automation units. But you can also link functions with signals, functions that you created for these automation units with CAEX+. 
so that you can assign a signal to different destinations, the signal is divided into several links. A link defines the destination-specific use of a signal. You assign the links of a signal to the matching destinations. You can find detailed information about assignment in the help file via the displayed path. Regardless to which destinations you finally assign the signals, the engineering is always the same for you and does not depend on the automation units used. For that reason, the information of the process technique must be prepared for the different automation units in the fourth step of the basic workflow. In the everyday language of CCAM Toolbox 2, this operation is called transformation. Transformation converts the data into a destination-specific format. You can find detailed information about transforming in the help file via the displayed path. In the fifth and last step of the basic workflow, you load the transformed data into the real automation units. Now the automation units are ready for operation.